Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Sagittarius. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for you. Thank you so much Sagittarius for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Sagittarius for being here. Let us see what is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign. This is an open message, Sagittarius. So I want you to think of your situation. Think about your focus. Think about your worries and concern. Think about your person if it's a person. I'll connect with you. I'll connect with the collective. And we'll see what is your guided message, okay? What is the message that is meant for you to know? And ready for you to know this is for wow you have a two of cups they've changed i'm hearing the word they've changed okay let me just fix my microphone okay all right i think that is better what can i get for the sagittarius sign we'll start with some sort of we'll, we'll start with your energy checked in okay let me have some energy checked in sagittarius what can I get for the Sagittarius sign? You have sign, you have the page of cups, you have a ten of cups. You have the star card. Um, I feel like the first part of the reading, you know, if you look at the ten of cups, if you look at the ten of cups, it speak it looks like, you know, I don't know, um, this ten of cups, it's I'm hearing the song he healed the world you know the ten of cups like heal the world make it a better place um, you've got the page of cups in here and the ten of pentacles in here I feel like collectively energy checked in the ten of pentacles and the page of cups it is a kind reminder to you Sagittarius like it's a it's a kind reminder to be mindful of like there's something that you used to say if things doesn't work out you know like um we're not perfect you know i mean me too no no one is perfect sometimes if we are faced with you know uncomfortable situation or maybe failed or bad news we tend to be we tend to be ungrateful you know we tend to tap into some negative frequency low vibe attitude behavior and be mindful of that because it could be a regular thing you know it's like the page of cups it's reminding you that yep you know life is not perfect we will encounter rejection pain and some other low frequency energy that um, produce uncomfortable feelings and it triggers us to be ungrateful or to say things we don't mean to post it in social media or to complain you know like when things are bad we complain but when things are good we forgot to say thank you you know so heal yourself you know there is some stuff that look into your like this is more of a because the star card you know like the universe is still conspiring in you like it it like it it makes me feel like law of attraction like law of synchronicity is that the, especially the page of cups and the ten of pentacles in here this is really really what you say could rebound to you okay what you write could rebound to you what you do will rebound with you like the law of attraction or the law of synchronicity is you know the law of synchronicity is that if we believe then we will attract the exact circumstances so i want you to even in the darkest hours or even in the saddest maybe you know always come back to the light always believe that there's a purpose on why circumstances are there and cer and the star card circumstances challenges it is meant to allow like 
block or challenges, you know, difficulties in life, you know, difficulties, delayed challenges in life, uh, these are required for our growth and evolution. In other words, nothing is truly random, okay? Nothing is really, truly random, Sagittarius. Every, everything that is happening to you, the good, the bad, the evil, it is required for your growth and evolution. So nothing is random, you know, even the so-called, you know, disturbances, unpleasant experiences, they are part of a huge divine plan, Sagittarius. So heal yourself. If you have been unkind to yourself, you know, to your divine power, maybe you said something not nice about yourself. Maybe there's some doubt and fear in here. Look at the star card. Heal your mouth for some of you guys. Heal yourself. Heal your mind. Heal your soul. We're not perfect, but every little thing, nothing is random. Okay, like this is this is a confirmation that what is happening to you, what is happening to you, Sagittarius, it is part of your growth and evolution. Okay, I remember there was a time that when I was new, I was new in New Zealand and my accent was so bad and my English wasn't really confident. I was being... I was, I had the most bashing or it literally, I was bullied because I couldn't, I couldn't find the, my voice, the confident. And I was bullied to a point that I have to speak out and I realized, whoa, I have this strong voice. So every, every disturbances, every unpleasant experience is part of a divine plan. It is growing you every rejection every failure every tears it is part of your growth and evolution it's teaching you once you have learned the lesson you would have the skill set you would be prepared and then the divine gives you what you want okay so there's something in here i don't know maybe in the last two to three four days two to three four weeks you've been for procrastinating maybe there's a part of you that you're forgetting to be grateful procrastinate please heal your mouth heal your mind heal something inside of you because it's a bit there's a crack it's a bit broken okay there's a there's a there's a chip inside of you you've got to believe in your manifestation and you've got to hold a space for good vibe you know in spite and despite and in you know, whatever crazy thing is going on in your life, it is growing you. It is evolving you. Because this star card in here, for example, you want to be a YouTube vlogger, but it wouldn't work out because why? They're telling you your voice is, you know, this is, or your audio is this. It It is a challenge, but it is going to, it like, it, whatever, the very challenge you have, it is the very thing that would actually make you evolve and that's actually the exact skill set that you need to to reach for the stars okay so if you're going through something difficult it is growing you it is teaching you it is part of your evolution it's not random it's not random nothing is you know really random it is teaching us a lesson to improve something in our life and then and then once we've reached that point of developed maturity or once we're expert then we have the offer okay and you've got the high priestess so i have a backup so whenever i see the high priestess i feel good because i know this is the the right message so sagittarius please heal your mind heal your mouth heal your procrastination be grateful maybe you're forgetting to be grateful um there is a bit of this there's something this there's, there's, there's a gap there's an inner gap about your belief and there's a gap as well with your manifestation because that your frequency is like bitter or angry for some of you guys i would be blunt or you're not grateful for some of you guys yeah 
for some of you guys you have not been grateful for some of you you want this you want that but you want it easy nothing is easy nowadays unless it's part of your destiny there are some things that it's part of your destiny to want the lottery or this that's part of your destiny but if you want to shoot for the stars be prepared to grow be prepared to evolve and part of evolution and growing are the good and the bad stuff okay um maybe the quick fix to this is just be grateful if you look at the queen of wands maybe there is a bit of ego in you maybe your head becomes bigger maybe there's stubbornness ground your energy be humble and gratefulness sagittarius look at that there's a bit of there's a bit of um how do i say this in english i mean look at just look at the face of this queen of wands something like big bigger head like your head becomes bigger for something okay yeah look at that this is you look at that there's a gap okay now fix be grateful anything that is making you difficult it's just transforming you it's like imagine yourself if you want to build muscle do you think it's easy to build muscle no you've got to go through a lot of discipline discipline your thoughts discipline your mouth discipline your energy okay and gratefulness humbleness yeah something is not quite okay when it comes to money when it comes to your plan you're losing for some of you guys you're losing hope you're losing you're losing your belief like you're losing hope or for some of you you're not believing in yourself okay this, it's just a bit of a change you know ground yourself be grateful what is making you difficult what's like sunshine this is like one like you feel like you know the universe like will whip and whip you <laughs> you know it's it's just teaching you a lesson it, it you you will get there you will get there believe you know believe stay hopeful ace of swords you will become stronger and solid with whatever you're going through just don't give up okay and don't procrastinate don't like the mouth or something in your mouth that you say that it's not okay ace of swords okay yeah seven of wands um hold on to believe have faith and be kind you know be kind uh, have like heal yourself be kind uh heal yourself speak from good words stay out of complaining for some of you guys you know stay out of complaining work hard be kind you know um and something is gonna come out out of this okay there is a lesson to be learned in here okay all right so wow that was intense okay now the second part of the reading okay don't be sad now okay you would know what to do after this message you would know where to start you would know what to change in here and let's see what's coming towards you sagittarius what's coming towards the sagittarius sign i'm hearing the word someone the sun card yeah someone wants to be neutral okay in terms of external energy in terms of who's coming towards you um you have a person who it looks like they want to be neutral like the sun card the four of cups excuse me yeah four three um you know this could be a friend it could be a lover it could be a family but this person is connecting with you engaging with you and they're not asking too much of you in what they want it looks like it's a if this is a lover i'm sorry can we be friends um it could also be a f if this is a lover it's like i want to be neutral i want to say sorry and maybe let's not hate each other if you cannot forgive me yet just don't hate me let's be neutral maybe i'll start with can we be friends for some of you guys so someone is returning and they're not asking too much they would like to move into a space of being neutral like i know you are not ready probably to forgive me 
but let's not let's remove the hate or let's remove little by little little by little the past experience the you know the pain or the hurt i cause you can we start with that like someone would like to be neutral because the sun card is always neutral the sun card is a very neutral card it's like so they might come into i'm sorry let's start as friends or i'm sorry do not hate me let's start baby step you know three of cups okay so someone is gonna connect with you they're gonna say sorry and then don't expect that this person would like to come back into your life right away. No, they would like to be neutral. They would like to be getting your forgiveness. They would like to get your permission to connect. They're very neutral, very neutral. They don't ask too much. They just want you to know that they're ready for you and they're sorry. And that anytime you're ready to kind of take them back or start all over again they will be waiting okay so it's it's not pressuring you to forgive me now let's get back together let's be sweet together let's hug and kiss together no it's very neutral like the dynamic they're bringing towards you is that let's be neutral let's not hate each other if we're not together if we're not talking then at least let's not hate each other and probably move on from whatever the buildup of low vibe energy in the past yeah five of swords whoever this person is they're very smart i think this person is moving into a space of the safest way to your heart or the way back to your heart or the way back to your life sagittarius is not to overwhelm you and to make things to make things neutral to make things like to make to make to make their comeback comfortable neutral and also they want to bring about a dynamic shift in your life like they want to be they want you to be conscious that it's going to be your call like it's a feeling of um it's a feeling sagittarius where this person will it's a feeling that this person, I'm back, and whenever you're ready to build a relationship with me, I will be waiting. It's like the control is yours, okay? Yeah, they will wait for you whenever you're ready, the three of wands. It's it's a clever move. It's not overwhelming. It's not overthinking. It's really, they're setting the record straight. I'm sorry. I'm here. Let's not hate each other. I believe we still have a good future. So whenever you're ready to build a connection or relationship with me, I will be waiting. And they might not come back for a short period of time, but they will keep on checking in with you, Sagittarius. Okay? So don't get this per they mean what they say said. They're very serious. They mean what they say. And I'm really getting like this person maybe there's gonna it, it's a feeling of the conversation will like your text your call the conversation will close and after a week they will check in again but when they check in they won't ask you if you're ready they're just gonna they're, they're going to be friendly they're gonna ask you hey how's your weekend something like that something like that so they're gonna start the conversation with you which is very wise yeah page of one see you know and i'm really happy whenever i pick up the energy before i even pull the cards maybe i don't need a tarot cards sometimes okay now i would say it's good this is a good energy to start off whoever this person is it looks like a lover but it's a very intelligent lover it's a lover who has learned so much not in a hurry they, this person if this is a lover they believe that neutral and shifting to a slow space a slow time and space direction is the key to your heart okay and yeah it could also be a friend could be a family member but that is what they're offering you Sagittarius 
this is what i have for you guys thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here i hope you like it if you do click the bell click subscribe and um, i have also delivered a very nice message i've delivered a very nice message in the other channel i will put the link down in the description box below so just in case you want to pick up more intuitive message the link is down in the description box below sagittarius okay thank you guys bye bye